are the supplies you're gonna need for today. It's very simple. A piece of blank paper, a pencil, and your favorite crayons. All right, guys, let's get started. So you're gonna use your pencil as a measuring tool. So I use from about the halfway mark of my pencil. I put it down at the corner, the bottom corner of my paper. And then I'm gonna make a little mark up here at the top. I'm gonna to do the same thing on the other side. And this is how we're gonna to measure to make a fold. Now, to fold things, I usually like to start in the center and then work your way out and put it right on those marks that you just made. make an oval because we're going to make our self-portrait you're going to make a nice shape and you want to have the bottom of your oval go all the way down to where the top of the fold is and you can see I usually try to outline it very very lightly and then go back over it and make it a little darker oh now we get to add some ears And we're gonna go right in the center and we're gonna make a nose. I used a little wavy line that had three bumps, but you could use a triangle nose or you could use a circle nose. It's up to you. I also like to do two little wavy lines up there at the top that would make it look like the bridge of my nose. Now let's make some eyes. A football shape is going to work best. It's kind of like an oval, but at the corners, they come to a little peak. Now in the center, I'm going to draw another circle. And I'm going to draw a black circle on the inside. Now if you want to make your eyes look a little more realistic, I'm going to draw a little circle on top of each of my, what we would call our pupils, the little black part of your eyes. Now I'm gonna add some eyelashes and eyebrows. Gotta put those bottom lashes on. If you want to do eyebrows, usually you'll start at the corner, the top corner of your eyes right above them. And I like to use just light strokes and then arch your way around. It takes a second, but doing those small strokes really makes them look a little more lifelike. Now for your mouth. You can see I did two wavy lines and then I connected it. I did another line on the, underneath that and then one below. Now I did a smile but you could do whatever face you wanted. If you wanted to make it look like it, you're whistling you could draw a circle, you could make a frown. It's up to you but I smile a lot so I wanted to show my smile with my teeth. I also added me some earrings. Ooh now the hair. I have very, very wild and curly hair, so I used a lot of swirls that went all the way down because my hair is long. You guys will have to adjust your hair for whatever length it is and what color it is. Now, I didn't have a skin tone, so I used a light orange and I went over it with a little bit of brown. So there's ways, even if you don't have the crayons at home, that you can still get the colors you want. Now, of course, if you have a skin tone, you can use that as well. Now, my eyes are green, so, of course, I made my very green eyes, and I outlined my inside with black. But I'm going to leave that little circle there on the top. I'm going to leave it white, and it makes it look like the light is shining in your eyes, and it makes it look a little more lifelike. some extra fun you can even add some makeup if you want to. I'm going to color in my eyebrows after I put on some of my eyeshadow. I'm going to put on some lipstick. Now I'm just 
going to go back over and if you have a skin tone or whatever color you use to create your base of your face color, you can go back over and kind of darken it in. I put some on my cheeks and on my chin, around my nose, and it just makes those little features stand out just a tad. Now let's color in that hair. Of course, my hair is very bright red, so I'm going to use a bright red crayon. Now we're going to add our mask. So on the line that we folded, we're going to fold our mask up and you should be able to see your chin right through that paper. So you're going to trace the draw line, that way it'll be just like if you had a mask going over your mouth and nose. Now I love the UK Wildcat, so that's how I decorated my mask, but you can decorate your mask any way you want. You can make it look like a mask that you actually have, or maybe a mask that you want. that I decided to do, since my hair is long, I went ahead and extended my long hair down beside my mask. That way when I fold it up, it still looks like me. And here I am with my self-portrait and there's my mask. Just keep us swimming.